1939, a dark chapter in American history unfolded at Madison Square Garden. Over 22,000 Nazi supporters gathered under police guard, while demonstrators protested outside. This shocking event was organized by the German-American Bund, an American Nazi organization. Their program included admiration for Adolf Hitler, anti-Semitism, and strong anti-communist sentiments. They demanded that the United States remain neutral in the approaching European conflict. But how did this organization come to be? In 1933, German immigrant Heinz Spanknobel was given authority to form an American Nazi organization. With help from the German consul in New York City, Spanknobel created the Friends of New Germany. This organization merged two smaller groups and quickly gained a presence in New York and Chicago. Members of the Friends of New Germany wore a uniform consisting of a white shirt, black trousers, and a black hat with a red symbol. Their main focus was on verbal attacks against Jews, Communists, and the Versailles Treaty. However, the organization fell out of favor with the Nazis and was dismantled. But a new organization soon emerged to take its place. The German-American Bund, established in 1936, aimed to promote a favorable view of Nazi Germany. Led by Fritz Julius Kuhn, a German-born American citizen, the Bund held its largest rally in Madison Square Garden in 1939. In front of a crowd of 22,000, Kuhn attacked President Roosevelt and his New Deal, calling it the Jew Deal. But this rally marked the beginning of the end for the Bund. After the event, Kuhn was arrested on charges of larceny and forgery. It was discovered that he had embezzled $14,000 from the Bund. Although the Bund did not seek to have Kuhn prosecuted, he was sentenced to prison for tax evasion and embezzlement. With Kuhn's arrest, the Bund slowly withered away and was eventually dissolved after the attack on Pearl Harbor. Many Bund officials were arrested and convicted for their involvement in subversive activities. But what led to the rise and fall of this American Nazi organization? To understand, we must delve into the ideology of fascism and extreme patriotism. George Washington, with his military leadership and patriotic image, became a symbol for fascist groups. Fascism emphasized action and heroism over intellectualism, and each nation had its own fascist symbolism and mythology. As we explore this dark chapter in American history, we must remember the importance of learning from the past to ensure a better future.